In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a postcard. All you need to do is have a view present on your 3D preview, then go up to Tools, and then click on Create Postcard. Otherwise, you can go to this button on the menu here and click on Create Postcard. Then all you have to do is give your postcard a name, and we're going to call it View1 and then save. Once you have saved that postcard it will be in your catalog and if your catalog is not open you need to click on this button at the top of your screen to activate the catalog. Then what you need to do is click on the postcards folder and you'll see your view one showing now in the postcards folder. So that's all you need to do to create the postcard. Now we're going to open up a new file and use the postcard on that file. So from the resources folder that was supplied you need to open up the using a postcard.atl file. So what we've done now is opened up our using a postcard.atr file. We can then zoom out and set up a nice view. We then need to go to our postcards folder in the catalog. Again, if yours is not open, you can now click at the top of your screen menu, catalog, and open up the catalog. Then you need to click on the postcards folder and find the view1.jpg. Once you have clicked on the postcard that you want to use, you can now click on any part of the postcard and drag it onto your model. So you see I just clicked on the brown cladding and dragged it onto the pillars there. I can now click on the cream cladding and drag it onto the walls. I can then click on the driveway and then just drag it onto the driveway surface of using the postcard.atr. Same goes for the grass. So this is a really fantastic way to save settings that you've used in other files and quickly use them in new files. A bonus tip for speeding up your rendering times and setting up the model is you can now go to file after using the postcard and go to use reference file and let's say we go and find the file that we originally made the postcard from so if we just go now to C drive and find the file under the resources folder example.atl click on the file and what you can do is import the sun settings from that file and you could import even, even camera views or objects and once you're happy just click on open and I've just imported the sun settings from the other file straight into my new file so that will help with the workflow in Atlantis.